Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve numericals based on the chapter that we have discussed. That is the groundwater. So let's start. Now the first problem that says a pumping test was made in a medium which is composed of the sand and gravel and it is carried out up to a depth of 15 meter after which a bed of clay was encountered the normal groundwater table that was at the surface corresponding to this the observation holes were located at a distance of 3 meter and 7.5 meter from the pumped well so if we draw the cross section so let's say this is the area which was present so this is the medium of sand and gravel below which there is a layer of clay now this clay layer that is ensuring that the water is not going through this and it is also given that the normal groundwater table that is at the surface so that means it is representing the conditions of the unconfined aquifer because here the water can escape from one side but not from the other one so this is an example of the unconfined aquifer now this is the pumping well which is made up to the depth of the 15 meter which is the depth of the medium now out of this the water was pumped out now corresponding to this two observation holes were made which are at 3 meter from the pumped well or the main well and 7.5 meter these are the two wells which are the observation wells now initially the water table was at the free surface now when we started the pumping obviously the water table that will fall down so let's assume that this water table has gone to this level which is shown with this dotted lines corresponding to this the water table will also fall from the other side also and because of which this will be the shape of the cone of depression this shape that we have drawn that is known as the cone of depression now if we are pumping this at a particular discharge of 3.6 liters per second from the pumping well a steady state was attained that means corresponding to the equilibrium conditions are attained and the flow will be in equilibrium and only then we can apply the equations for the unconfined aquifer which are given by the themes it is also given that the drawdown at the 3 meter well was 1.65 meter. Now this drawdown is the height by which the water table has fallen down. So this is the depth by which it has fallen. So this is 1.65 meter and corresponding to the 7.5 meter observation well, this is 0.36 meter. So these two are the drawdowns for the respective observation wells. We need to compute the coefficient of permeability of the soil. So this remaining height that is given as, let's say this is the first observation well. So this will be small h1 and the corresponding height for the second observation well that will be h2 so 
So this is the typical cross section of the data that has been given to us. Now we will write down the data that has been given to us. So the given data, first of all, the discharge out of the aquifer that is 3.6 liters per second. Now to convert this into cubic meter, this will be 3.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 cubic meter per second. Now corresponding to the observation well or the observation hole number 1. Now the cone that we are looking at that is the cross section. In actual if you look it at if you look at it from the top this is the observation hole which is made and this is the pumping well. So from all the directions this flow will be the radial one. Therefore this distance of the observation hole from the main well that is the radius of the observation well. So this R1 value that is given as 3 meter. The drawdown that is represented by S. So corresponding to first observation well that value will be S1 which is, is equal to 1.65 meter. And therefore H1 will be total height which is 15 meter minus 1.65 meter that is is equal to 13.35 meter. Corresponding to the second observation hole, the radius for that is 7.5 meter. The drawdown will be that was given as 0.36 meter and therefore H2 will be 15 meter minus 0.36 meter. So that is 14.64 meter. Now, since this data is given for the unconfined aquifer and that too in the equilibrium state condition, so the themes equation will be applied, which is given for the unconfined aquifer which is the pumping rate is, is equal to pi into k into h2 square minus h1 square divided by 2.303 log base 10 this is r2 upon r1 where k is the coefficient of permeability. Now we will place all the values keeping in mind about the units. So this discharge rate that was 3.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 that is is equal to pi into k h2 value is 14.64 square minus 13.35 square divided by 2.303 log base 10 R2 is 7.5 meter R1 is 3 meter. So this K value that will be is equal to 3.6 into 2.303 into this log base 10 7.5 by 3 that is is equal to 0.398 divided by pi into this is 14.64 plus 13.35 that is a plus b into a minus b. So that will give us the value like this into 10 raised to the power minus 3. From here the unit that we are getting are the standard one that is in meter per second. So from here if we solve it out this value is obtained as 2.89 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 meter per second. 
or the most general way of representing the coefficient of permeability that is in centimeters per second so we have to multiply this value by 100 so this will be 0 0.00289 centimeters per second now that is the value that we were desiring the coefficient of permeability of the given soil now that completes the first problem looking at the next one when 3.68 million cubic meter of the water was pumped from an unconfined aquifer of 6.2 kilometer square aerial extent so let's say this is an aquifer which is of unconfined shape so this is the impervious strata and from the top we can extract the water this aerial extent if we look at the plan this is the let's say area this aerial extent is 6.2 square kilometer now the when when the water was taken out of it the water level that has dropped down and that has gone down by 2.6 meter we need to calculate what is the specific yield of the aquifer so what is the specific yield that is the ratio given by the volume of water which is extracted so we would have extracted the water only from the voids divided by the total volume of the material or the medium total volume of the material or the medium being extracted so if for the entire volume of the medium there were only the voids which were present that means the volume of water that was extracted that would have been the same because there was no solid surface but because in the soil the water is present only in the voids so the volume that was taken out that was 3.68 million cubic meter so converting that into the standard unit that is 3.6 into 10 raised to the power 6 cubic meter divided by the total volume of the material now the medium that we have extracted that is having an aerial extent of 6.2 square kilometer so that is 6.2 square kilometer into the depth is 2.6 meter from this volume the water was being pumped so converting it into the same units that is 3.6 into 10 raised to the power 6 6.2 converting square kilometer into square meter it will also be multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 into 2.6 meter so from here this 10 raised to the power 6 will be cancelled out so the specific yield that we get that is is equal to 0.2283 or that can also be represented in terms of the percentage that is 22.83 percent that is the specific yield that means if for the material for the medium if the layer goes down by 100 units the water which will be taken out that will be from 22.83 units now in the problem it further says that during a monsoon season if the water table of the same aquifer that goes up by 10.8 meter what is the volume of recharge so we know the specific yield that is giving us the value that if initially this was the 
water table this was the impervious strata during the monsoon season it has increased by 10.8 meter now this is the total height by which the water table has risen in the medium out of this there will be a certain amount which will be filled by the water we have to calculate the amount of that recharge that water volume so once again here will be the role of specific yield because for the 10.8 meter rise in the medium for the water table certain volume will be increased and that is known as the volume of recharge the water volume which has been added to the existing volume now the total volume of the medium so we want to calculate this volume of recharge so we have to multiply these two so the volume of recharge that is is equal to specific yield into the total volume of the medium for the monsoon condition specific yield is 0.2283 into the total volume of the medium so the aerial extent of the medium that remains the same 6.2 square kilometer so the volume for the medium that has increased that is 6.2 into 10 raised to the power 6 square meter into this 10.8 meter by which this has increased now if we multiply this entire value that gives us the result in 15.287 into 10 raised to the power 6 cubic meter or which can also be written as the volume of recharge is equal to 15.287 million cubic meter this is the entire volume by which the ground water has increased this is the actual volume so that completes the first type of problem based on this chapter of ground water now in the next video we will look at the type 2 problems thank you